If you like your comedy short, fast, and funny, you've come to the right place. Comedy Time presents Quick Laughs, guaranteed to make you laugh in 30 seconds or less. She got mad at me for checking on a mannequin too long. I couldn't help it, it was a hot mannequin, you know what I mean? It was a sexy mannequin, it was a thong or whatever, I liked it, you know? She said, how are you gonna get turned on by an inanimate object? I said, well, you just got jealous of one. Right before my 21st birthday, I had my tongue pierced, okay? I called my mom to let her know what I had done. She was not happy. She said that by piercing my tongue, I was telling the whole world that I was the type of girl who would do anything. <laughs> oh, thank God she didn't ask me how I paid for it. <laughs> she would not have liked that at all. Not at all. Uh, any fat people here make some noise, fat people? <laughs> I know there's more than two of you guys in here. <laughs> Cause that's what, cause like I saw you guys come in, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what fat people do. We look at other fat people and we're like, oh wow, I'm not that freaking fat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the Latinos, we put anything in our car if we won't get pulled over. Yeah. We put the American flag. <laughs> we even put stickers. I read the Bible. <laughs> I'm a Republican. <laughs> The only stickers we don't put is our tags. I like the movies a lot. I like old James Bond movies. I rented Goldfinger the other day, and there's a scene in the beginning of the movie where James Bond makes love to this girl, and he leaves the room, he gets a drink of water, and then he comes back to the room. The girl is lying in the bed. She's been completely painted gold, and she's dead. <laughs> That's happened to me twice. Uh, I went on OkCupid. Okay Anyone here use online dating sites? No one wants to admit it. I went on OkCupid okay and I searched for curvy women, and all I got was overweight women. Do we change the meaning of the word curvy? We can't start changing what words mean, people. I, it was all overweight women, and not curvy and overweight, but straight-waisted overweight. Now to find what I'm looking for, I'm gonna have to search for scoliosis. I have a website, IHateWeddings.com, if you want to follow me. It's not that I hate marriage, I just think a wedding is a really big party right before your buddy goes into witness protection. Because after that party, you never see that dude again. I like Church's Chicken, anybody else? Uh, Church's Chicken is weird because I'm not religious at all. <laughs> but for some reason, Chickens who have accepted Jesus taste delicious. <laughs> so now I want to try chickens from other religions, like synagogue chicken. Or mosque chicken. Mosque chicken's cool because the really, really extreme ones will marinate and cook themselves. I like watching Spanish news, man. Spanish news, because it looks like a club, right? It could be the Weather Channel. I was on the East Coast Puerto Rican newscaster. Oh my gosh. They're like, and next, the news. Okay. <laughs> you want to listen to the weather? Mira. <laughs> okay, Monday, partly cloudy. And we're having some showers. But Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is kind of like a disaster. <laughs> because they're gonna have the shh. Como se dice shh. Tornado. <laughs> but the weekend, sunshine. <laughs> On the way here, I saw a driver throw a bag of garbage out of the window of a Toyota Prius. It was kind of unexpected. They say the car that you drive reflects your sexuality. You think that's true? Because I'm 40 and I drive my mom's car. 
Wait, let me hear by, by round of applause, who here tonight is single and or in a relationship? Round of applause. Okay. All right, good. See, I have some advice for all of you. Uh, what I want to do when I want to seduce a girl is I take her to SeaWorld because nothing gets a woman wetter than Soak Zone with Shamu. Uh, <laughs> Saw a billboard for dental implants. Thinking about getting them, but I'm being realistic. I know anything over a B cup would look unnatural. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little worried about my toothpaste, everyone. On the, uh, yeah, on the tube it says ADA accepted. Just accepted. Like the ADA looked at the stuff and went, yeah, you can be toothpaste. <laughs> Go get in people's mouths. I need a stronger word than accepted, you know, for my hygiene products. I need, I need more confidence in the word, you know? Not accepted, I need recommended. ADA recommended, much stronger word, isn't it? Cause like, you should totally accept it if you have a gay son, but nobody recommends having one. <laughs> I was in Florida, and you know, in Florida, they got alligators down there, but the people in Florida, they're used to them. They're not afraid of them. And I saw a guy fishing by the water. I go, sir, aren't you afraid of an alligator? He can get you. Because I ain't afraid of no alligator. They don't bother you if you don't bother them. You ain't from around here, are you, amigo? I said, no, I'm from Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Do you know Jose? <laughs> I'll be watching TV. I'll be watching television, that's how lazy I am. I'll just watch the TV, and then I'll put the remote down, and I'll grab my beer, and the remote will fall, and I don't even, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not even an option to pick. It's like, I just, I just look, I like, <laughs> and now I'm trying to convince myself that what's on TV is worth not doing one, one sit up. I could, it's right there. I could get it, but I'm like. <laughs> guess I'm watching The View. I'm totally Jewish, by the way. <laughs> I'm an Orthodox Jew. I feel like you guys don't appreciate how cool I am. <laughs> Take my hat, for example. The brim is supposed to be bent down, but I'm wearing it bent up. I hate this phrase, I don't like this phrase. Somebody must have really been looking out for him. I don't like that phrase. Because the only time you hear that phrase is when something really awful happens to somebody, but it doesn't go awful enough. Did you hear about Tom? He fell out of a two-story building, broke his spine, but he lived through it. Somebody must have really been looking out for him. <laughs> Nobody was looking out for Tom. <laughs> Nobody even told him there was an open window behind him. I got an oil change recently, and that was, a, that was really cool, because I went to one of those quick-through drive, you know, oil change places, and uh, it was like 30 bucks. And I love that, because it's 30 bucks, and they find stuff you didn't even bring the car there for. <laughs> Yeah, I was there a few weeks ago and this dude Joel found a lump in my breast. <laughs> and if you don't have health insurance, that's a darn good deal. That's right. I'm telling you, man, my problem is fast food. I love it to death, I really do. And I thought I saw the answer to my prayers like three years ago, man, they had a Taco Bell diet. There's a skinny little Mexican girl in a tight white dress. She's like, hello, I lost 22 pounds on the Taco Bell diet. I'm like, I love Taco Bell, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try that. So I went on the Taco Bell diet for two weeks and I ate nothing but food off the Taco Bell menu for 14 days and I lost 18 pounds, y'all. Yeah, the Taco Bell diet really works. You'd be surprised at me calories you can burn me. I get up and run the bathroom every five minutes. <laughs> Having your food turn from a solid to a liquid in your stomach is an abdominal exercise. They don't have a machine for in my gym, I checked. <laughs> Run for the border, run for the bathroom, you lying bastards. <laughs> Give me that. Like, I don't like guys that are too confident. Like, I'm confident, but I don't have enough confidence to back it up. Like, I'll walk right up to a girl at a bar, tell her exactly what I'm thinking. Just go up to her and say... <laughs> it's loud in here. 
What's that? Oh, I got to go talk to my friends, too. You got to use Jesus in a lot of situations. You know, I went to high school. Like I said, man, my worst class was geometry. I had an F before the final exam even got there. I knew I was going to fail the test when I looked at it. So I couldn't think of nothing, so I just wrote Jesus Christ on it and walked out the class. <laughs> Say, yeah, let me see you put an F on that. <laughs> God took that test. You better graduate me out of here. And let me out this school now. <laughs> I fell asleep the other night uh, while watching uh, Spanish television. And uh, when I woke up, I had bad credit. <laughs> and I'm not scared of dying. It's cool. I just don't want to become my dad. Holy Toledo. I do not want to become. My dad just turned 88. My mom calls me and says, let's throw him a surprise party. I go, he's 88 years old. Trust me. Any activity my dad's involved at at this point of his life is a surprise, OK? <laughs> Last week he had a surprise bath, a surprise cup of coffee, and watched a surprise episode of CSI Miami. And what sucks is, see, some of my friends, a lot of my friends, stopped after high school. Got the GED, stopped. Didn't go to school, you know, no college, nothing. They just got jobs at McDonald's. And everybody knows that when you're somebody who's friends with somebody who works at McDonald's, you make fun of them. Like, I make fun of them. Hey, man, you working at McDonald's? Look at you flipping the burgers. Yeah, 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 you an ass. You gonna get yours, you gonna get yours. And I'm laughing because I'm going to college. Four years later, they're managers at McDonald's and I'm trying to get a job application. You see how this works out? You know, most guys play the guitar. I took accordion lessons. <laughs> if you wanna play, if you wanna find out if the instrument you're playing is uncool, try playing the air version of it. Going for a solo? <laughs> that one's for you. Like, I don't know what it is about me. Like, I can do this. If you put a microphone in my hand and just let me go and talk to a crowd, I'm good. I'm not nervous. But like, one-on-one -on -one situations, I can't do. Like, if you see me at Starbucks in a line, I know I have to communicate with a person at the end of that line, and they have to understand what I'm saying. And I have to go over what I'm going to say because I'm worried that I'm going to get to the end of the line, black out, and just look at them and be like, ah, give me coffee, and just throw money at them. Just make it happen. <laughs> Yo. Two reasons people go dancing. Number one, to meet ugly people. Right, because everybody looks good in the dark. Number two, to do moves that you absolutely, positively feel you need to do. But you can't get away with doing them under normal everyday circumstances, right? Because you never go into a Burger King and be like, yeah, what's up? Can I get a double Whopper with cheese? Yeah. Hold the lettuce, hold the onions, hold the pick, pick, pickles. A friend of mine asked me, they were like, uh, hey, Pedro, if you were in love with a woman and you guys were together for a while and she gained a little weight and got fat, would you still love her? <laughs> I didn't even answer it. I didn't even answer the question, you know what I'm saying? To me, it's a stupid question. A question like that completely misses the point. You know what I mean? Because if I'm in love with a woman and we're together for a while and she gains a little weight and gets fat. She doesn't love me. So once you become a big time celebrity, man, nobody wants to see you doing anything else, right? I mean, come on, you want to, nobody. You can't have a normal life. Like, could you imagine somebody like Chris Rock on the Weather Channel? You know, that would never work now, right? You know, going, let's go now to Chris Rock, he's live. Well, Chris, what's happening out there? I'll tell you what's wrong. I'ma tell you what's wrong. 
The weather's all messed up. That's what it is. You got hurricanes down in Florida every weekend. That's right. Every weekend a hurricane. In the Midwest, white folks get messed up by tornadoes as usual. And you can't feel sorry for them. No, you can't. Because their houses got wheels that could have drove to another damn state. I'm tall. I'm 6'4". Uh, wear a size 14 shoe. Um, exactly. Uh, every time I've ever said that to anyone, whoever I'm talking to is like, man, size 14. You must have a huge package, every time. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just here to buy some shoes. <laughs> I don't know why you had to bring my body into any of this. I can't call my mom because uh, we just found out a couple years ago she's possessed by a demon. It's the worst one. It's called like menopause. It's so terrifying and I just, I've lost my mother. And she was a ginger to start with, so she had no soul. So that thing just crawled in there and like lives inside of her, you know, it says super mean things. <laughs> And she's convinced that I have narcissistic personality disorder. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm too awesome to have that. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> I liked Christmas as a kid because I could get stuff. One year all I wanted was a BB gun. It's all I wanted. But I didn't get a BB gun. My brother got the BB gun. So you know what I got? Shot with a BB gun. <laughs> Thanks, Santa, for my new glass eye. Here's the thing, if you set your friends up on a blind date, just give them all the information. Because I went out with this one guy, my friend didn't tell me he lived in a studio, one room apartment, eight cats. Oh, uh, he's right. <laughs> At what point do you have four, five, six cats, and you think to yourself, <laughs> How can I get more of an ass smell in here? I need more of an assy ass smell. More cats! My problem with marriage is that I don't want to be that married dude in the jewelry commercial always apologizing for something he did. You ever seen that turd? Every, every jewelry commercial is the same. It's some married dude outside in the snow. Babe, I'm sorry you caught me with strippers. Look, something shiny. Every kiss begins with K. Eh, I don't have that kind of credit space. You know, I get married, I do something stupid. Let's go to Arby's and have a beef and cheddar. That's the best I can do. Can't buy you no shiny ass ring every time I say something stupid. I see people here dating, they with dates and stuff. I notice something. The more intimate you are with somebody, the more you start to notice stuff about them, they might you know, throw you off. Like I remember when me and my girl, we was first making out, we was kissing, we was going at it, and we was close. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, dang baby, you look just like your daddy. <laughs> I got nervous, I bad dog started talking sports. Like, you think the Lakers gonna go all the way this year? <laughs> Who you think the Raiders gonna pick up? I used to rap way before Eminem. They called me Skittles. <laughs> I could never be a gangster rapper. How scary am I gang be? 15 redheads coming to your neighborhood, all covered in sunscreen. <laughs> We're all mad because it's hot. Stop pushing, Trevor. <laughs> that sun is bright, all right? All right, this will be our redheaded gang sign. This is dumb yelling out west side, east side. We're redheads, let's go inside. No, but I belong to a support group and uh, they helped me out a lot. I remember the first time I had the courage to stand up and say, hi, my name is Vincent, I'm a homosexual. I was a little embarrassed because it was an AA meeting. <laughs> but 
these people were so warm and supportive of me that I decided to become an alcoholic. <laughs> Everywhere I went today, cold enough for you? People say, cold enough for you? Cold enough for you? <laughs> and I realized I didn't really know how to answer that question. Because if I say yes, this is cold enough for me. I like it around 35. If I say no, that means no, this is not cold enough for me. I'd like it to be around 12. <laughs> so I kind of just go, nah, and walk away. Have fun with cops is what I'm trying to tell you here, ladies and gentlemen. They're human, they're cops, have fun. Next time you're walking down the street and you see a cop car drive down the road, that's an everyday occurrence, right? Act startled, then run. <laughs> Better yet, follow them in your car. <laughs> follow them. Finally, they'll pull over. You get out of your car, walk up to their car. He'll roll down his window. You say, how do you like it? <laughs> you got any idea how fast I was going? Uh, any vegetarians in the house tonight? No, nope, not a one. All right, we can joke about it. Um, <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of, I'm not a vegetarian either, but I have a lot of vegetarian friends, and they're always like gonna offer me a fact, like they're just gonna give me this nugget of information that's gonna just, just alter the course of my life forever and take me in a whole new direction. And one of them told me a fact, he said, did you know that McDonald's is the single largest buyer of cow eyeballs in the United States of America? Yeah, and that fact almost did change the course of my life forever, because that's like a heavy fact, you know? That made me stop and think, like, how many cow eyeballs would I have to buy? You know, get my name up there on that list. Get a lot more Ben Kalina followers, you know. <laughs>